We are going to subtract one three digit number from another three digit number using base 10 blocks. So I'm gonna start by building the first number and I'm gonna only build the first number. So it's 562, there are five hundreds in 562. So I'm gonna put those out. These are place value blocks to represent the different place values. These are 100 flats that represent 100. So we have 500. In 562, you have 610. So we have these 10 rods or rods that represent our 10s. 5, 6, and then we have 2 1s. These little unit cubes to represent our 1s. All right, so now, unlike addition, we're not going to build the second number because with subtraction, we're taking out of what we already have. So I already have 562. I want to subtract the number 178. I'm going to start in the ones place. You don't have to start in the ones place, but it's more common to start in the ones place. In order to start somewhere else, you have to have more flexibility with numbers. But to make it more simple, we're going to start in the ones place. So I want to subtract eight ones. I only see two ones, so I need to regroup or make an exchange or trade it, however you want to call it. It's not borrowing because we're not returning it, but we are going to make an exchange. So I have two ones. I need more to subtract eight. So I'm going to, need to use one of these 10 rods, trade them out for ones. I need 10 ones. That is the same as a 10 rod. So there's my two, so I'm going to... Place down 10 ones to represent the trade I just made with the 10 rod. All right, so now I also want to show what's happening up here. So I used one of the six tens and I made a trade so that I had more ones. So now I have 10, 11, 12 ones, and I have five tens. I still have my five hundreds, nothing's changed over here. All right, so now I have enough ones to subtract eight ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I took away eight ones. Now I have four ones remaining. Now, with the tens that I still have, five, I need to subtract seven tens. I don't have seven tens, so I need to regroup one of the hundreds in order to have enough tens to subtract seven tens. So I'm going to regroup one of the ten hundreds, one of the hundreds, not ten hundreds, one of the hundred flats, and one hundred flats is ten of the rods. So I'm going to make a trade. So I'm going to take this flat out and place in 10 of these rods because both amounts equals 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so now I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 10, so I'm going to show that up here, and I only have 400 flats. A student does not have to necessarily show this up here. This is just to make sense of what's happening in the problem, and it helps them later on when they're just going to be using numbers and not concrete models. So it helps to bridge those two different strategies. All right, so we have 15 tens. Now I have enough to subtract seven tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. Uh oh. <laughs> I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens remaining. I'm going to write that down here. Now I still have four hundreds, but I need to subtract one. I'm going to take one away. I still have 300 remaining. So after I did all my subtracting, the difference between 562 and 178 is 384. That is the difference. 
We subtracted one three-digit number from another three-digit number using base 10 blocks.